Well, I was looking for this. We're looking for a subwoofer. I had mixed feelings about whether the F12 or the PL200, and I've been through a number of forums, number of uh, read a number of reviews, and you can never find a straight answer. Some say the PL is great. Others say the F12 is fantastic. I don't know. I don't know myself. So I think the best thing for me to do is kind of do the test myself and see what's what. So today we're going to go and do an unboxing of the PL202. Um, I'm actually, uh, I've been looking forward to this uh, for some time now. I picked this up from Amazon for 250 with taxes and everything. It was like 272 And um, yeah, uh, it's got more power than the F12. Some say the F12 sounds more clearer and more crispier. Um, but you cannot ignore the power that this thing produces. 1,000 watts peak power and 250 continuous RMS at 250 watts, which is more than the F12. The F12 it does 150 RMS uh, in continuous and it does 475 or 425 peak. I forgot which one. Let's go and do an unboxing and take a look at what's inside. If you came across my video, um, I'm sure you too have been looking at the difference, the comparison between this one and the F12. Um, now, I've never heard this one before. I've been toying with the F12 for about two weeks now, and I'm really happy with the F12 music, movies. It does a fantastic job. And, and, and you know one of the best ways to really test anything, uh, speakers, is you just play your favorite whatever, whether it's a movie or your uh, music or your song, whatever your favorite is, and you kind of just listen to it until you get the feel that you want. Well, as soon as you open it, you have the owner's manual, just like the F12. Then you have the foam. Oh my God. I love the smell of new subwoofer. The power cord. Uh, same as before. The best way to undo these is you just gotta do it upside down. It's a bigger box than the F12, that's for sure. Oh man, I like this. They put this little, you know, hard sheet on top, just so the piano black gloss doesn't get messed up. Well, let's look at it in the back. You have a. Uh, digital receiver and sub i guess once you set it to sub the amplifier will take care of your crossover settings and once you set it to receiver digital um, then the crossover will be managed by your receiver let's go ahead and take a look at the front the front you have your grill now the f12 is ported in the back the pl200 is ported in the front look at that oh nice I'm gonna put the F12 right next to it so you can see in size. All right. I mean, honestly, they're both 12 inch subs. I mean, 12 inch woofers. Um, the piano black does look really nice. It looks quite pretty. Uh, let me show you. Well, the PL200 is a bit taller I mean, not taller, It's uh, the depth is a bit more um, compared to the F12. Aesthetic-wise, the PL definitely does look better. But aesthetics going to go out the window once, you know, the sound doesn't produce as well as I want it to. The F12, on the other hand, I like this chrome finish. It, it looks really, really good to me, except for that bland, whatever that color is. Gold? Copper? Copper? Yeah. I like, I, like the, I like this, the polished nickel. That's kind of it. That's uh, the unboxing of the PL200. Um, there's no point of me doing a you know, subwoofer test. But what I can do, I can just play music and I can just talk about it. So let's do that. Now I already know what kind of song I want to play and I would want to listen to. And the volume is set to you know my liking. The subwoofer volume, I have not increased it. I set it to very, very minimum. And um, now I did, I have read negative reviews on this. I've also read negative review about the F12 
but you know it's just gonna come down to your personal preference and how you like to hear and listen to the bass um, I don't think you can take anyone's word for it especially these two subwoofers are extremely well made and with built with quality so you can't go wrong with either or I think it's just a matter of your budget and um, what sounds good to you if you have the opportunity to, to test both of them on your own feel free if not then you know whatever you like go with it all right let's see all right I'm gonna play Justin Bieber as long as you love me as long as you love me Oh, okay. No bass yet. Seven billion people in the world to fit it. Keep it together. Smile on your face, even though it always found it. But hey now, you no good. We both know who it's true. But I will take my chance. All right, so after testing for a couple days, um, here's my verdict on these two subwoofers. The Big F12 and the PL200, they're both equally great subwoofers, but the difference is the amount of, at least to my ears, the difference that I found was how much sound it you know, pushes out. Uh, let me see if I can explain that right. The Big F12 um, bass, it kind of spreads across your entire living room you know it, it, it kind of makes it feel like it's just filling up uh, all the corners and everything that may be good or bad depending on what you're listening to and what sort of movie you're watching the PL200 however it's a bit more controlled the bass when it's pushing out it pushes us the right amount of bass it's very accurate and I'm sure you'll read similar reviews on a lot of the other forms. It's uh, tight, it's sharp, um, and I, I've listened to these two side by side, uh, turning it on and off simultaneously on, on the same track of music and the same rhythm of a, any song with uh, lots of bass will sound different. Uh, this one, like I said, it sounds more tighter, it sounds more cleaner. Uh, you might say to yourself like, oh, it's not as loud but it doesn't need to be not all explosions not all beats need to sound like it's you know going off the scale the big f12 it's a great subwoofer but depending like i said it's going to be a personal preference type of thing um also whether you know which whichever one falls within your budget i, I feel like if you're going for a 200 dollars subwoofer the f12 is good but if you want to increase your budget and go for a $300 subwoofer, the PL200 is a PL202. This one's fantastic. So between these two, I'm going to end up keeping the PL200 just because, you know, uh, so l last night I watched um, the movie 300, all of it through all the explosions. The scenes where it needs to be loud, it is. The scenes where the bass doesn't need to be as loud, it's not. And I like that versus the big f12 it tends to be loud you know uh, not no matter where not regardless of what but it just it tends to be louder and i don't always like that loudness not all the time some scenes i i want it to be loud other scenes i don't now well, one thing i do want to point out is the pl200 is not magnetically shielded versus the big f12 is now you cannot go wrong with either of these two if you find this one on a good sale price, get it. If you find this one on a good sale price, get it. It really, you're not going to regret either one. Um, but as for me, since I got a chance to test both of them, I'm going to go with the PL200. I also had my wife listen to it. And, you know, it was like a blind test. She didn't know which one I was turning on and off. And what she told me is, uh, you know, based on some of the music that was coming out, <coughs> The F12 was kind of ringing in the ear. 
versus the PL200, it sounds a bit more cleaner and more sharper. So for that purpose and for that reason, I am keeping this one and I'm going to return this one. Not because it's a bad subwoofer, but because my choice on my hearing, um, it's going to be the PL200 because I just like it a little better than that. If you have experience uh, listening to these two subwoofers, let me know what you think. Um, uh, you know, uh, oh, one other thing, one other thing that uh, makes it a big selling point for the PL200, it's the warranty on this thing. Eight-year warranty it is willing to give you such a long warranty life on this thing. It makes me happy. Uh, versus the big uh, F12, it's a five-year warranty. Still good. But this is just overall a better subwoofer for me. So that's kind of it. That's my take on these two subwoofers. Um, hope that was helpful. I'll leave some description below on where to find uh, more details about these subwoofers. So you can take a look on your own and if you're in the market. Uh, and you do decide to get one of these, let me know how it turns out for you. Leave a comment and talk to you in the next one. Bye.